Yeah, I think Jensen's Orn, and okay. I think they'll move the Aatrox top. So uh, they could be swapping these back and forth for a while. He's missed a point blank cocoon after flashing. That probably would have been oh. first button. Now, flash now the Now here going comes after. Blabber, chop, chop. He goes up into the air. He's trying to survive. Broxa will look to get himself away, but the harpoons connect. Licorice has the stun. Licorice has the first blood. But and now it is also a double buff crocodile in the top lane. That Croc Croc gotta keep ganking. is, this is his only option. incredibly strong. He does still have a flash ready to go. Doesn't want to flash too early. Wants to try to escape the CC combination coming towards him. Licorice getting the stun down onto Broxa, getting away. Raquel <laughs> comes down and Broxa's looking to grab the kill. He won't be able to get it. Nearly going to be taken down, but he does step out of the turret range. To Licorice, he has no ulti. The Dominus, normally something that's very good at dissuading teams from making these kinds of dives. Broxa nearly killed, but a good repel. Team Liquid up to that one kill lead early on. Jensen gets the equalizer brought down on his head as Licorice and Blabber are coming in. Licorice already prepping the Dominus nice and early to make sure he has the fury for the empowered W underneath the turret. Modest CS lead for Zven over double lift as both of them are going for the Blade of the Ruined King rush. Blabber on top of the Infernal Drake. He's able to take that one down. Goes into the Ragnarok Whoa. and immediately, absolutely, and unequivocally exploded. Brocks it with the flash over the wall, but he's picked off with a piercing arrow. And now Core JJ is stuck. Double hit by the Chains of Corruption and C9 decide to hoof it out of there. Double hit's still looking to follow and Jensen is here to front line. Sven trying to fall back. Vulcan going to be right by his side. Core JJ and Jensen continue to try to retreat, but the TP's coming in and Liquid may be in some dire trouble. Jensen tries to escape, but Sven's got the kill. Put the money on the AD carry, it's exactly where it needs to be. Core JJ running away with the shield up as Licorice looks to potentially make a dive. The minion wave will arrive here in only a moment, and Licorice and Niski will prevent the retreat of the bottom lane of Team Liquid. Broxa tries to fall in for reinforcements, and a TP coming down for TL will keep double lifting Core JJ alive. Vulcan retreating now. He does only have half HP. The Infernal Chain will be sidestepped. Was actually able to completely burst him down, tracking the gold and seeing them use the Rift Herald and just taking the big picture. C9 did it end is up number three. This is where Team Liquid start has to excuse me words have to start worrying about the impact of all of these being taken away as Licorice forces the fight onto impact here in the bottom lane. It's Vulcan showing up as well. The Abyssal Voyage bringing the catch in. Licorice nearly outplayed by impact, but barely surviving. Able to flash away and stay alive. Away at this tier one. Yeah, may as well just take the extra gold while Impact has his death timer. It's going to be about 30 or 40 seconds before this Drake can even go down. Or, or rather, until they can Ooh, get it. Ooh, nice! No Tom Kench for Sven! Double lift! The follow-up CC is there, too! And Sven is picked off! Good! That's huge. And the death timer is completely gone for Sven. He teleports back. C9 again here with five people. Team Liquid still looking like they want to fight, though. Vulcan in the stopwatch, keeping himself alive, but... Here comes your Orn Horn. Jensen's able to find the knockup onto Big three. Horn. Team Liquid coming in, looking to bring the damage. Liquorish isolated in the top part of the fight. Impact going to be soaking the damage for the piercing arrow. And Cloud9 continues to retreat. Cloud Drake going to be doing okay. some favors here for the side of TL, putting some damage into the Cloud9 health bars. As Niski stays on the front line there, trying to zone TL away. Cooldowns are going to be coming up here momentarily for the side of Cloud9. Brox are looking to move mm -hmm. in, looking to contest. Blabber's there on the front line as well. The Equalizer is down, and the Cloud Drake Stolen by Broxa, showing up clutch right when it matters. But Cloud9 are not willing to surrender this fight here just yet. Licorice still looking for the last couple of seconds here on the Dominus easier. As Cloud9 see their chance to go for the second Herald of the game. Nice arrow coming out from Devil at Vulcan. Remember, there's no stopwatch any longer here on the top catch, and Team Liquid will find themselves another pick. Broxa taking some damage from Blabber, but it's all about Sven, who is popped again. Team mid lane, bringing that gold close. What is it with Sven getting caught out against Team Liquid? What is it? Most ultimates available. Only ones burned is the Varus and Tom Kench alt, so here they come. This could tell us so much about this game moving forward. Vulcan again gonna be stunned up. The initiation coming down onto him. Thick skin gonna be keeping him alive, but now he's killed at the start of the fight. Licorice coming in from the side. The doing Dom the right thing. They're just saying, see Kiro, see Tom Kench, Kill Tom Kench. Here but one it turret in the mid lane. Team Liquid have done a good job at defending it. Vulcan still only sitting on the pieces of that gargoyle stone plate. Here we go. The chains of corruption arrive, and Doublelift is in some trouble. The damage coming through, but Blabber's going to be popped first and foremost. Doublelift still walking, and his impact has arrived from the side of the fight. Vulcan trying to keep his man alive, but C9 are in full retreat. Niski has to flash away, and Impact is not looking to stop just yet. A flash into a two-man oh. knockup, and Niski is spider food. Do you believe in miracles now as Team Liquid continue their push? They grab 
both bottom laners, and they slam that fight. And C9 could not kill Doublelift. They just ran straight at him no and Doublelift. And now there's no question about it, Jet. They are in the driver's seat. Okay, so. <laughs> If they win this upgrading game. Upgrading into Molten. Doesn't have time though. Here comes a fight. C9 is trying to flank him. They know Doublet just flashed. The TP's down. Licorice is into the back line. And Doublet is going to be the threat. The equalizer got arrives. Him. And Doublet is finally going to be popped. Team Liquid now in a hell of a lot of trouble. It's Broxa barely going to be keeping himself alive. What in the hell was that stopwatch for, man? That's not going to And Doublet is actually going to be able to look for picks. Double lift ready with those enchanted crystal hey, arrows. We don't have the ultis. We don't have the positioning. We're going to surrender the Drake. It's still not sold. Soon. Really? I think that's why he was free to use it. Yet yeah, there it is, the Zonia's Hourglass yes. right away. For a good portion of the remaining part of this game. Sven there Back on the front. Play. Arrow shot out, finds its way down, only onto Blabber, as the Ord ulti is going to come through and find its way onto Borz. Sven already gobbled up, and now Impact's found his way into Equalizer. the cloud lines, and everybody is just being shredded now. This is able to bring down some damage, but Doublelift is going to be killed off. Sven has joined him as Blabber's fighting Impact off to the side. Jensen coming in, looking to help out his fellow solo laner, and C9 are two versus four. Niski will zone Broxa out, but that's all he can do. He chases after him with the flash. The repel will bring Broxa back down, and Niski is distracting as much as he can. The harpoons fired over the wall will not accomplish much. The chains come out, Niski will fall, and Team Liquid is doing what seemed undoable. And Team Liquid is more than Double Lift. Double Lift got destroyed in that fight, and they were still able to win it. Impact with his upgraded cleaver and big old death dance just destroyed the backline of that fight. The other MVP of this fight was Niski's Equalizer. It basically burned down all of Team Liquid, but wasn't enough to kill anyone except for Doublelift. Impact walking around the side, ready to go in here. Drake is secured by the side of Cloud9, but the Orn Horn has been sounded. Impact's wings are spread wide, and the fight begins. Vulcan again, caught out, burst down. Licorice looking to fight here on the front lines. Equalizer going to be evaporating health bars. Licorice still looking to cut these guys down to size. Blabber in a 1v1 here up against Broxa. Jensen taken very low. Licorice on a killing spree. Double of arrow after arrow after arrow oh. after arrow. And Sven now has one in the back of Jensen. As Licorice is on the front line and Double is going to be stunned up. Resurrection comes through and Piercing Arrow does not find its mark. GA this is putting big. in work here for the side of Cloud9. The Hail of Arrows goes through. Blabber still looking to find something to do, but he can't do anything nice block of the Braum shield there as oh yeah and I can see the Baron power play is ticking down <laughs> okay uh, I'm glad you said it because I was thinking the exact same thing that was some some pretty wild stuff. no no flame on Jensen please flame me instead yeah yeah I yeah take it. that was it was still funny I enjoyed your response to that situation you weren't watching closely. Here okay, go, here. Back. Forget about it. It does not matter. Sven's knocked up into the air. He loses a third of his HP only to that initiation. But now the Orn Horn is down. C9. They've got the Cloud Drake live on the map. They have the enemy main initiation tool down for about 30 seconds. This could be their opportunity. Licorice, not going to be pulled back there by the chains. Vulcan's got to be careful to not be caught out and stunned up here yet again. Gargoyle Stone Plate is ready if he is. Sven. Starting up and firing onto the cloud. Drake Impact's made his dash it. up the wall in the pit. Now the Equalizer's coming down onto the back line. Double going to be rooted up. Licorice looking to chase after him. Not able to follow there with the flash. Still looking to find the damage. Unstoppable into the back line. Double goes down. Slabber. And Double Lift is down. Make it a double kill. Make it a Cloud9 team fight win. Make it a soul on top. Team Liquid fails the team fight. With the Orn Horn not available, they will lose three for nothing. And Cloud9 fight right back into this game. Oh, and they're going for more. Baron is up, so they're gonna have Cloud Soul and Baron when all is said and done. Oh, nearly <laughs> showing the power of the tank mage support bruiser assassin. Fight. I wonder if the Knight's Vow might have saved Double If there because he, he flashed out of the initial initiation from Licorice and then just got brawled down by Blabber. Blabber. health damage on the triple front line of Team Liquid is huge. So he's doing so much magic damage in these fights when he's able to detonate his passive. Vulcan gobbles him up to keep him safe from the Orn initiation, but now the fight's going to be coming down here yet again. Double gets clipped with a piercing arrow, but can C9 win another team fight? Licorice looking for his engage opportunity, and Jensen is exploded. Double critically still alive, but one member down on Team Liquid means an advantage for Cloud9.
Yeah, 42 minutes in. These death timers are almost a minute long, so any fight could be the last. I thought maybe that was it. It still may be. Look at how powerful this push is. They're going to get at least two inhibitors, but if they get one more pick, it's going to be the game. Team Liquid's playoff dreams on the line. They must hold four versus five. They must stop the Cloud9 onslaught. Blabber and Niski putting the damage onto the mid lane inhibitor as Cloud9 continues to push up. Finn, Licorice, Vulcan maintaining presence here in between the middle and bottom lanes. Blabber continuing to shove this wave up towards those Nexus turrets. Nexus turret number one nearly going to be killed at the very start of this fight here. C9 now backing themselves away. Blabber goes into the ultimate, goes into the stopwatch, keeping himself stasis up, trying to stay safe. Impact here on the front line. Once more, Vulcan going to be killed off. Spin is low, but Spin is alive. The piercing arrow flies, and Impact is brought down. Spin's got his number. Vulcan at the start of fights can no longer be used, mm -hmm. and it definitely feels like the damage that Doublelift is able to put out here with a is smite fight. As Vulcan they're going and for the Spin next turret. are going for a back door, they, they recognize can end. that the turret is very low. They're going after it. Spin's got the arrows. Revenge is coming too, no! and Cloud9 will shut down Team Liquid's playoff chances and slam them into the ground. And that's how it ends. <laughs> that is.